this is my how-to on how to install artificial turf or fake grass and what you're looking at is my patch this area is 15 by 15 square and uh, the reason I did that is because typically uh, the manufacturers are producing the rolls at 15 foot wide and all I have to do is order a 15 foot long piece and drop that right in so simplicity no cuts um, no waste it's great because uh, just drop it right in staple it in or uh, nail it is what they suggest because the nails will actually bind rather than uh, the staples if they rust out the tops the heads might be stuck up uh, into the artificial turf themselves so I got about four yards of decomposed granite and I had to moisture condition and compact this in sight in place um, so I got it relatively level and then I'm just going to uh, go ahead and install my artificial turf so I show you guys the next step as soon as I uh, retrieve the roll from the uh, retailer um, this will be a nice patch for my uh, twin daughters to uh, play on and uh, save quite a bit of money uh, installation charges are quite absor exorbitant um, for something that uh, is relatively simple it does take a little bit of uh, sweat but it is sweat equity I'm paying myself to do the job so we can use that money for uh, vacation or something so got my landscape border set up um, got a little bit of drainage plugged in here for this water to leach off of here and onto the uh, gravel areas all right I'll go ahead and show you guys the install they recommend five inch nails I did tamp this down to compact it uh, had the you know the heavy uh, shovel there there and uh, yeah just about four yards so I'm rambling so next step Okay, so that about sums up the installation. I've uh, trimmed up the edges. I nailed it uh, perimeter approximately every six inches and uh, interior every two feet. You can see I uh, got rid of almost the whole box of nails there. And uh, I got five inch nails uh, for about 10 bucks at Home Depot. Then I infilled the sand. Um, right now I got about 200 pounds of sand in there. Uh, if I find any uh, spots I need to uh, revitalize, I got uh, another 100 pounds laid up. I can uh, just add it. So I'm just going to hose it off and uh, wait for it to kind of dry out. Um, uh, yeah, the artificial grass does get uh, pretty warm during the day. So um, I have an umbrella. And then uh, when the sun sets, cast a shadow over the majority of this area, this pad. So uh, kids got a nice cool place. Play. Anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, if you guys consider artificial turf, please uh, use this as a quasi-guide. Thanks for watching. Oh, very nice. Sitting on the grass itself. And this is a two-inch pile. Uh, you'll find uh, a lot of different pile sizes, depending on how much you want to spend, but uh, Really like the two inch pile with this uh, this yellow thatch in there. Make it look a little bit more realistic when you're up close. And then if you could see really closely, you can see I got the sand in there, which is gonna help stand up the fibers nice and tall. Keep it looking lush. So if you ever find your grass laying down, just add a little more sand and brush it to a certain direction so the, the pile stands nice and tall. All right guys.